So uh, tell me, you two, um, <laughs> almost newlyweds, mm. um, how did you meet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take this one or me? No. We were in our favorite bar uh, in Syracuse. It's a hole in the wall called Chuck's. And, uh, it was the first day of my orientation. Yeah, it was for med school. Actually. It was for med school orientation. I was a third year, and uh, I was single and kind of ready to mingle, scouting out the uh, <laughs> the the first year orientation class. And uh, <laughs> Dana immediately stood out as being the most beautiful as well as the loudest girl in the, in the room. <laughs> um, I was immediately attracted to her. Dana was loud. Yes, Dana was very loud. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> um, so I was immediately drawn to her, and uh, I coaxed her into playing a, a drinking game in this bar with me. She thought my name was Jake for like the whole weeks. time, <laughs> and called me Jake for about two weeks, but that's, that's how we met, so it was pretty funny. Dana, you were not aware of what his real name was? No. <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? He was wearing a shirt with the name Jack written on it, yeah. and I still called him Jake <laughs> for like two weeks. Go. We deeply, sincerely appreciate it very much. It's so wonderful of you. So a toast to Jack and Dana. Here, here. Absolutely. <laughs> and on their new chapter in life together is Mary. <laughs> to, to a long, healthy, happy life together. Here, here. No, seriously, you guys are the best. I love you so much. Um, and the one thing that I'll probably say tomorrow night too is the best advice I ever got from my parents is when they met Dana for the first time, they said, don't let go of this girl. Oh, I know I'm not the easiest to deal with at times. <laughs> and you've dealt with it like champions. Hey, 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 hey. Stephanie and Erica got into the box and we were pushing them around. I mean, I'm talking like five years old. Erica goes out and she goes, look at Steph's hair. She spit out her gum with a giant wad. Oh Stephanie's hair like that's kind of the shittest that she could get into. <laughs> we had to do all these like standardized patient encounters. And so Jack would, was great and he would come over and be a patient for us. And <laughs> Such a big part of our lives over the last 31 years or so. 26. <laughs> Where'd you guys go on your first date? Our first official date? Yeah, first official date. We went to. Remember, it was the best date ever. No, mine was better. No. <laughs> We alternated who made dates for each other in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But he took me to a restaurant that's now closed. I don't remember what it's called. I don't either. Did and it close because you went there? Yes. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went ice skating downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good date. I liked it. I thought it was pretty spontaneous. Um, I didn't know at the time just how terrible she was in the cold, um, <laughs> but she manned up and uh, took it like a champ and uh, we went ice skating and I made a fool out of myself and fell a couple times. And, true. Um, but it was romantic. <laughs> it was well, it's 512, I'm going to assume. It better be. It's probably four. a four. <laughs> I bet it's a four. We're playing the blues? Yep. So we heard about the first date, but how did um, the two of you know that each other one was the one? Well, I knew <laughs> early on. Um, we were just talking about this last night. Um, Dana has this infectious personality, <laughs> um, and we are very similar. Uh, and kind of from the beginning, we immediately hit it off. and. Um, do you remember when we went to the Syracuse basketball game and uh, she took me to uh, a Syracuse game and uh, she was cheering louder than anyone else and knew 
all about Q's hoops and knew the rules of the out and I was just super impressed and I was like I can see myself really liking this girl and um, and just over the course of six months or so we really uh, we really got tight and uh, I knew pretty early on that she was uh, a special girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, are you going to get emotional right yeah. now? <laughs> That's cute. When did you know? I knew when we went to Florida for, um, we had been together for about two years and we went to Florida, we went to Disney World and I really liked, I knew that I could be with him forever because he got really excited about doing everything and was such a good sport without being like a loser. <laughs> How do I put that nicely? Yeah, so you were... Sorry, so you went to medical school, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. You had fun without being really, yeah. you know, dorky. Okay. And that's when you knew you wanted to marry me. Well, it was just when I knew that out of all the other things that I already liked about you, this was the one that let me know that I could have fun with you. Mm -hmm. Well, there's going to be a few more. No. Please be seated. Your love for one another will bond your body, spirit, and soul. Marriage begins a life of giving and sharing, nurturing, and support. Allow each other the freedom to change and grow as individuals while developing your mutual spirit as time goes on. Yeah. <laughs> 